Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone. Here we have Mix G, or 7th wave of Matchbox 2023 Power Grabs, or Mainline. A little bit of controversy as to whether this is Mix G or Wave 7, because there seems to have been two waves released at once, but in different markets. Spoiler alert, this mix does not have the Volvo in it. The very, very much anticipated Volvo. Um, it does have plenty of goodies, but not that one. As per usual, we have something significantly different with the outer box. Normally we have the catalogue. Sometimes this year, at least once, we've had a blank one side and artwork on the other. Another time we have had nothing on either side. That's always the back. But uh, they're mixing it up over at Matchbox, keeping us on our toes, keeping us woefully confused. Let's get on with it. First off is the featured vehicle, or featured casting. Fantastic looking thing. Number 34 of 100 is the 1934 Chevy Master Coupe. Of course all of these will have the 70 years logo. If you were, oh look at that, that looks much better than that. Sometimes the artwork looks better and sometimes the actual thing looks better. In this case, the actual thing looks better, much better, love it. If you were starting your own little Road to Perdition reenactment, Matchbox is your one-stop shop. They uh, are giving us a lot of these ye olde castings. This one, the Chevy, fantastic. So much detail on the grill, lights, etc. Nothing on the back because they've gone nuts on the front. Love the colour, the two tone magic. Those wheels just suit it so well. Those wheels are used on many things, but you wouldn't know it because uh, they look fantastic on this. They're two different sizes, back and front, but that looks an absolute bomb. Great. Next is a reissue. Uh, was that the last mix or the mix before? It doesn't really matter if they're all confused, does it? It's number 38 of 100 International Work Star Ambo. No moving parts because these aren't moving parts. This is mainline. Uh, blacked out windows. Steely steel base. Good looker. Similar wheels. Are they exact? The back ones are. See what I mean? You wouldn't know unless you put them right beside each other. Great. Uh, another push along. Um, great if you're not a completist and you're after this, but everybody else was too. You get another crack at it. It's number three, 1992 Mazda or Mazda AutoZam AZ1, or maybe that's how you say it. That's how I'm saying it. There it is there, light as a feather. Doesn't seem to be much to it, but um, it's a cute little sucker. The bug eyes, the nice blue. It's already growing on me. I wasn't sure when I showed it in the last power grab video, but imagine when there's three or four colors, they'll look fantastic. Did I mention there was a chase piece in this? Let's get to that now. Put us all out of our misery. Look at that. Uh, no number. There is, in fact, not 100 of 100 in 2023. There's 103, the three chase pieces making up the extras. This is Matchbox Super Chase Porsche McCann S. S standing for son of a... It's a chase piece. Look how delicately I destroyed that box. And there she blows. Typically that uh, deep, deep metallic grey and the splash and flash across the side, Porsche as well. Fabulous. Awesome wheels. They are rubber tyres being a chase piece. Loving it. Here's C on the side, obviously, for Super Chase. Fabulous. Fabulous. 
got a recolor in the Audi number two of 100 Audi TT RS Coupe or Coupe if you want to say it proper. Properly, how green is the green? Oh, it's green. Oh, it's so green. Metallic. I love it when they, it almost looks like they mixed a bit of black into the paint. I'm sure that's what they do to achieve that funky, funky color. That's the best one I've seen. Wheels stand out. Tampo with the badge on the back and front. That little bit of detail on the grill. That's magic. That's magic. Oh, it's a good day, isn't it? Uh, this was from, was it the last wave? The feature artist, or the feature casting. 44 of 100. I had a bit of confusion when I was sorting out what was new and what wasn't. And I'll get to that in a second with a viewer comment. Always very handy to have comments to help me along the way. I'm no real aficionado of Matchbox. I'm just a fan like you. But... Um, learning as much as I can, as fast as I can, um, to help you along if you're a collector. Number 44 of 100 is the 2021 Ford Mustang Mach-E. Step forward, young fella. There he is in primer grey. We saw it in the last video. Pop that there and move right along. MR2. The thorn in our side. Four variants to collect. 95 of 100, 1984 Toyota MO, MR2. It's a mouthful. So we've got lights up, lights down, left hand drive, right hand drive of each. Here we have the lights down and uh, right hand drive. As if it was on an Australian road. Beautiful blue. My word. You wouldn't want to put these two together because. The Toyota really shows the little guy up, but that's stunning. They've used, I think, the same wheels on all MR2s. They suit. Why would you change it? Black base to give you those black spoil spoilers and bumpers. That's a really nice blue. It's going to go so well with the other colours that they've brought out. Put them over there. He won't get lost in the crowd. Should we just... No. We'll hold off a second to rip open the other Toyota there to see if I've got a variant. Uh, number 4100, the 2019 Jeep Renegade. It's a shove-along. Give you another crack at getting it if you haven't got it. It's white. Nice crisp colour. Nice. Put in there. Put that there. Uh, got a double in the TT. The Porsche. That's, I think, the third opportunity to get that, if you haven't already. Number 80 of 100, the 1985 Porsche 911 Rally. Uh, where are you? There you are. And that now familiar uh, colour scheme of the 70 Years Edition with matching box. Uh, put him there. Put him there. And we'll move right along with number 7 of 100, the 1970 Honda N600 Off-Road. That's new, but it did come out in the last wave. Call it the sixth wave or box F, whatever. Looks like it's got little ears, doesn't it? Makes it all the more cute. Cute is a button. That'll look great en masse five years from now when we have five or six of them. That's a double. Move that to get that there, shove him along. MR2, should we do this now? Okay, do we have a variant? Drum roll. So we've got both. Oh, yeah, look. Both are headlights down. One's left hand drive, one's right hand drive. This is where it gets tricky because. Oh, it's a different paint batch, too. See the difference in blue? Um, this is where it gets tricky because the odds are. I'll start getting doubles from here on, but good to have that. I'll get that out of shot because we've seen it now. As well as this one, no, number 19 of 100 is another reissue, 1936 Ford Coupe. That's it there, remember? See what I mean about the road to perdition? 
I know they're mainly um, sedans, weren't they, in that movie? But this is of that ilk. Great. And again, those wheels that just make it look old. Fantastic. Pop him over the back. Um, here's a repeat of the star, if you like. The Tesla Model X, number 90 of 100, was in a few mixes ago, I think, now. Looking very electric. It'll take us all a while to get used to how many electric cars there are in real life. Um, a new casting, number 67 of 100, Mercedes AMG SL63. Look at that. I wonder what colour this will be, because the car part sometimes deceives. Oh, let's see. It's a much deeper blue. Try and get the glare away, so you can have a good gawk. Wow. 67. What a beefy looking thing. The... Uh, Yep, there you go. The steering wheel looks okay. It's a bit missing out of the floor pan. Uh, but it's an okay interior for a mainline. Remember how cheap these are manufactured at, um, and therefore we get them at. So there are always limitations, aren't there? That's a looker. It's a real looker. Love it. What an addition to the Mercedes lineup. Uh, Matchbox has probably given us about a thousand different Mercedes. Ice Cream King in pink, number 59, is from last round. That is featured on the box as I create carnage. Um, so, yep, yeah, there he goes, or she goes in pink to suit the Barbie movie, maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, got a double in the Mazda. And this one I thought was um, reissued, but it's actually a recolor. Like I was saying before, the electric vehicles that they're peppering us with in real life um, are confusing. And uh, as Steve Brandon of Canada pointed out, that the Mac E, where are you? is just built on a generic platform um, and he wishes that Mustang would actually make a Mustang that is electric. Can you imagine that? The current Mustang shape, the actual Mustang with electrification. It would be snapped up very quickly I'm sure and I'm sure it would be very fast on the road. Not that the run-of-the-mill electric ones aren't but um, imagine a Mustang, a real one. Um, I do read all of my comments, by the way. They come straight through to my phone, which makes it very hard to comment or respond to. But um, I try. Uh, that was the first one of the Volkswagen EV4. And the Renault Megane looks similar, and the Tesla looks similar, and let's face it, the Mustang looks similar. Until we all get used to them. But here it is, a recolor of the Volkswagen. Nice. Nice red. So there you have it, number 96 of 100. Let's crack on. We've got um, one more reissue to get through, a couple of doubles, and then for me, the absolute beast. But we'll get to it momentarily. Number 76 of 100 is the Polaris RZR or Razor. Um, it has uh, a little bit of red in the accent work. Sometimes it's blue, but this year it's red. Looks good. Nice. If you're enjoying this content, feel free to hit that like button. It helps out the channel, and I really appreciate it. That's a double 44 in the Mustang, a double in the Ambulance, International Workstar. But look at this. Number 35 of 100, the very, very much anticipated Holden VF Commodore SSV. Oh yeah. 
and that is South Australia. Look, keeping SA safe, not South Africa, South Australia. Hello to all my fans in South Australia, um, South Africa, by the way, and South Australia. I have quite a few commenters from South Africa. Never been. One of the few continents I've never been to. But look at that. And I'm so pleased it doesn't have a light bar at all because this means we're going to get the streetcar version of it. The stock standard beautiful VF Commodore. I suppose if you don't like the Popo you can take a, a meth rag to that um, <laughs> tampo and make it a white car but I wonder if Matchbox will give it to us in a plain white at some point over the next handful of years anyway. That is such a familiar car and I know this shape is um, or used to be available to Americans as a Chevy. They are, were built in Australia but sadly uh, by some reports it was costing the Australian taxpayer two and a half thousand dollars every time they sold one of these bad boys because the uh, car plant was subsidized so heavily. Not unlike many other countries who subsidize their car manufacturing plants. That's a stunner. I love it. It's got the built-in rear view mirrors. Seem a little low for my liking compared to the real thing. But that's a stunner. So familiar. You'll notice that um, the VF Ute came out in Matchbox. Same front end. Yes. Thank you, Matchbox. You've done it again. Magic. And there you have it. Is there anything left to show you? Um, as far as this one's concerned, uh, I will try and get hold of all four and uh, show you the other two in my upcoming show and tell video. I'm sure it's going to be show and tell 28, but I'll have to check check that out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll pan down a little to get the mob in. Absolutely stunning. So whatever you want to call it, uh, mix G wave seven, it might be the next one along or the next one previous because it's all a little bit fast and furious at the moment um, with supply and demand is going through the roof. Enjoy. Hope you get your Chase Piece and your Holden. They're the stunners as well as the Mercedes Audi. Wow, there's a lot here. There's a lot here. Very exciting times to be a Matchbox fan. Like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.